What's up everybody, and welcome to a brand new Pokemon Let's Play. Pokemon Platinum. The, uh, the third installment of the, uh, 4th Gen Sinnoh region. Before there were Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, and then there came to be this thing, which is probably the, which is more likely the better version of Sinnoh that you'll ever play. But anyway... I didn't mean to do that, um... Look, let's just get on with this fucking game. It's been like a few years since I last played this. But, hello, hello there. So very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before going further, is this your first adventure? I need advice. I'm certainly capable of giving it. Yeah, I'm good. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here I have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball, if you please. Um, well, I don't think I got another, so... There we go. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we play together, at times we work together. Some people use our Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research. So that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm a dude. Tell me, what is your name? Well, I mean, my name will always be, until I get it legally changed, will be Mason. Your name is Mason. Okay, Sir Mason. A fine name, that is. That was Boy here. I believe he's your friend. What might his name be? Uh... Barry Nolan Roar Gavin. I'm just gonna give him the default Barry. Barry, is it? That's your friend's name. Alright, Mason, the time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventures are to unfold. On your journey, you'll meet countless people and Pokemon. I'm sure that along the way, you'll discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. Oh, one of our friends. Always, always, I hope you will understand the meaning of those words. That was the comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned from Sinnoh, from the Kanto region. That concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rowan. Brought to you by Jude Life TV. Nationwide Net. See you next week. Same time, same channel. Alrighty then. First, let me just get this crap out of the way. <laughs> just walk back and my rival shows up. There you are! Hey Mason, did you see the TV? Sure you did. Professor Rowan's that really important guy who stays Pokemon, right? I mean, there's lots and lots of Pokemon. Let me ask him, I bet he'd give us some Pokemon. Oh, hey, is this a new PC? Uh, where was I? Oh, right, right, we're going to see Professor Rowan get some Pokemon. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Mason, you're late. I'm finding you one, uh, ten million. I only have 3,000. Leave me alone, Barry. Fucking loan shark, dude. Mason! Barry already left. I don't know what it was about, but he sure was in a hurry. Okay. Alright, let's exp- Oh yes, Mason! Don't go into the tall grass while Pokemon might attack you. It would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't, so... Well, take care, sweetie! Do you give your son this lecture every time he goes outside? I just want to explore the world, man. And it's snow! It's August. What was that about? Oh, hey, Mason. I was surprised wrong. You should come, too. Come quickly. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot something. Alright, well, let's go find out what he needs. Um, hello, Barry's mom. Better take my bag and journal, too. Hey, Mason. You're waiting on the road. It's a 10 million find your lead. Wow, what a douche. Just kidding, he's not a douche. 
All right, let's uh get out of this town. This is smaller than the town I live in right now. Too slow. All right, let's get moving first to Rowan's lab. What, well, don't go into all grass, right? No worries, no problem. Doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me, this one, I got an idea. Now listen, you know I want a Pokemon jump out when you get going into oh, to, to the tall grass? So you two screw up to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. Why don't we just climb the ledges? That seems like a more, uh, sane idea. We just keep dashing, we can get this. I don't have running shoes. We can get the sand jump town if I run into a wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. And here it goes. On your marks. Hold it! Oh shit, it's me. Oh. You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Who was the meaning of going to the tall grass? Hey Mason, this old guy. That's a Rowan, isn't he? Isn't it? What's he doing here? Try to go into the tall grass because you want Pokemon. What's he do? The world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it right for me to put him on that path? Sure, because all the other professors did. You two. You truly love Pokemon, do you? Fuck yeah! Me too! I love Pokemon too! I'll ask you once again. You two. You truly love Pokemon, do you? What? You can ask a hundred times! The answer will never change! We will answer a hundred times we love Pokemon. Right, Mason? A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter tall grass with a Pokemon of their own. It worries me what people like that would do with Pokemon. I... I... Forget about me, but can you put one of my friend here? I mean, we try going to tall grass, Noel. How big of you. Very well, then. I will trust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise you'll never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Uh, cue flashback of every dangerous thing I've ever done with Pokemon. Now then. Now where? Professor Rowling, you left a briefcase at the lake. Oh, something wrong here? Ah, there it is. Dawn, nice work. It's about to do with trust these two of their own Pokemon. Pardon? I was born how to replace. Are you sure about giving them away? Hmm. They exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time when people should need Pokemon. There's a world that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place right here. Go on. Open the briefcase and choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Rowan? I'm so happy that you can't keep a straight face. Mason, you choose first. Yeah, I'm practically a grown-up. I have to show some class here. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, but, um... Look, there's some Pokeballs. Pokemon each one. Now choose. Which one will it be? We got the Tiny Leaf Pokemon Turtwig, the Chimp Pokemon Chimchar, or the Penguin Pokemon Piplup. First time playing this game, I picked a, pim a Piplup. But... I think I have a bigger fan of Turtwig. Then I choose you. I'm picking this Chimchar. Very well. Both of you chose a good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well. The Pokemon you have been trusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they're much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you will do well together. If you have any trouble, come see my lab in Sandship Town. And I will be on your way. Pass away for me, please. I'm sorry, please let me pass. Okay. How do you like that? Professor Rowan's really nice. On TV, seems so stern and scary. Ask Jerry Ness from the cocaine, I snorted. Hey Mason, but we got Pokemon now. So one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? I can't, it's bedtime. What's that attitude? Don't be that way. Um, there's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? Always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. Mason, I challenge you to a do 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 uh, I think that's a Yu-Gi-Oh reference, but... A battle! And we're thrown into our first battle against... A Chimchar. The basic strategy is to just tackle spam. That is basically the only way you're gonna win this fight. That hurt, you know. And he's just leering. No way, we can go keep going this way. We hit our stride. No, it's not. You're losing. 
You're just luring me until I have no defense left. And then it'll be you who gets destroyed. There's no way you're gonna survive one more tackle. If it if you do, I'll be damned. That's what you get for trying to lower my defense. And we get a nice 69 experience. What are you saying? We end up losing? Yep. And we get 500 bucks. Ooh, let's go home. I'm beer after that battle. I'm pulling the rest too. See ya, Mason. What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened to you? You buried your lucky have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you did. I wouldn't like to think of what the wild Pokemon had done to you, too. Um, Mason, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. Sounds in Sanjin Town, isn't it? If you have your own Pokemon, Telegrass won't be so threatening. Oh, I know, put these on. I get our running shoes. Thank God. 12 minutes in the game, and we are getting our running shoes. Going to Sanjin Town is like an adventure in itself, right? Those running shoes? You can go to faraway places much faster. We'll read the instructions. We know how to. What's that nifty? Well, we already know how to, how to. Do that. So. Too slow, Mason. I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to see Professor Paul Rowan so I can think of properly. This idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we always play at? You now they say a legendary Pokemon lives there. I guess it. Let's catch that Pokemon. I'll make Professor Rowan happy. I'm sure of it. You gather we got nothing to fear. Okay, let's roll. Very lakefront. Alright, we're at the lake. Alright, because we're catching the legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one. It's here. It even says it on the sign. Don't, 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 uh. I can't believe everything that you read. What's going on? Before enough time, expanding of space. I'll make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name, remember. Until then, sleep while you can. Let your pull in the lake bed. Let me pass. Step aside. What's that all about? Your guy. Okay, so let's catch that legendary Pokemon. Did you hear that, Mason? That was legendary Pokemon crying. Had to be. It's our chance. Let's catch it. Um, we don't have the, nece ne the necessities. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us. No Pokeballs? Po P O K Axony balls. Yeah, those who can't catch Pokemon are taking around with us. Because we won't give us some if we asked him? You know you remember what he said, don't you? He said this is time we need anything. I'll race you. First one to press the rest of his lab and see if your town rules. And he already, he's already there before we even get a chance to move. Well, anyway. What's the first encounter? It's a good old fashioned Starly. Yeah, let's just let's just get our let's just go to Sanjin Town. Ah, more Pokemon. All right. What are you doing waiting out here all by yourself at this night? Oh, there you are. Please come with me. Professor's waiting. There, Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Ow. What the? That's you, Mason. The old guy. He's not so scary. He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. It doesn't matter, Mason. I'm out of here. See you later. Wow, what was that? The French sure seems to be really impatient. Well, let's go inside. The door is left wide open. What's up? Well, well. Look who's here. Mason, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Here you go. I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Hmm. To see that territory was no mistake, it seems. Like you've a nickname. Well, I mean... Sure. Uh, wrong button. Might as well nickname... Oh, wait, what? I accidentally pressed the B button. Um... I'm 
Whoa, 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 whoa. I doubt that's how you spell continent, but... You know, poor Terra evolves to, um... Yes, when I first saw you two, there was some tall grass, but I was shocked. Stand by these foolhardy children. Now you stand me in an entirely different way. Wait, there's a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Turtwig feels the same way about you. That's why I ask you to cherish that Turtwig of yours. I'm so glad you're that ki you're kind towards Pokemon. Before I had, just can't say it. What? You can tell me. You can tell me anything, girl. Ahem. Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. Let me properly introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I studied Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is why I ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. We use the record, record all data on all the Pokemon in the Sure, why not? Sounds fun. Hmm. Good answer. Retain the Pokedex. That Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Mason. I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I got one too. When you rock, walked up to Route 201, the Pokemon, what'd you feel? I lived for 60 long years. And now I get through a run with a Pokemon. And I should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you. Now go! Mason, your grand adventure begins right uh, uh, just, uh, now! Oh, finally. The Pokemon I met for the first time was a Piplup. If you're choosing Piplup around 201, we have the same Pokemon now. No, it doesn't matter, but anyway, I'm done. I saw Pokemon at page to Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm like you. Just got a little head start on you. That's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Mason. Oh, I... I... I tried moving, but I couldn't. Mason! Oh, Jesus Christ. I have something good here. You should take this as well. And we are first to yell. God damn it, phone charges. That's a technical machine. Someone needs to move or turn. Using a technical machine, or TM for short, teaches a move instantly to Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that TM is single use only. Unless you're in 5th fifth, fifth gen up. The move or turn gains power the more friendly your Pokemon is toward you. So, to you, of course, if you want to use that TM or not. Assuming you have the wish, that journey will be fun. Oh wow, I didn't know press our teams. Did he train when he was young? Okay, Mason, I'll your mentor. You have a bit more experience than you as a, as a trainer and as a professor's assistant. Follow me. The spill under the rivers of Pokemon Center. Um, we know that already. And this is a Mart! We also know what that is, and we can't buy crap. Oh, that's right, Mason. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping press your own voter? You may need to go far away, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, before you go, heal up your home in the Pokemon Center. It's a lot of scary that way. Bye now. Well, this game is a bit unique other than the others, because you can go ahead and buy Pokeballs right off the bat, but you just get five free when you go up there. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it right now. Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of my newest Let's Play, Pokemon Platinum. Next episode, we're going to go uh, talk to my mom and explore and just continue on our journey. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.